Well, the LGBTQ community in Utah faces a significantly higher risk of suicide and suicidal thoughts, and teens are at even a greater risk. The state's suicide prevention plan is aimed at turning that trend around. In this Healthy Mind Matters report, Heather Simonson spoke to a Utah family who's made it their mission to help. This is just kind of our place we chose. A hallway of memories. Yeah. One of his favorite songs was You Are My Sunshine. Of a son gone far too soon. And so that's one that we chose to um, sing at his funeral. Allison and George Doyson lost Stockton to suicide five and a half years ago when he was 17. He was struggling with finding his place. Stockton was gay. You know, it kind of put him on the outside. That isolation took a heavy toll on his mental health. A struggle that is sadly far too common. LGBTQ teens are six times more likely to suffer from depression than their peers, and more than twice as likely to feel suicidal, and more than four times as likely to attempt suicide than heterosexual youth. Because kids are coming out much earlier. So kids come out when they're teenagers, I think on average 15 or 16. Therapist Joanne Cook says teens don't have the maturity or life skills to handle the rejection and abandonment that often follows. Kids need a safe place, period. She says families and communities should make acceptance the priority. I need to love my kid how they are in their ups and downs and all arounds. My job isn't to tell them who they are. My job is to ask them who they are and be curious. Experts say ask, listen, and validate teens' emotions. Show acceptance through words. We all need a place, a belonging. And if you don't have it, you go looking in the lowest of places. Experts say parents are getting better at responding with love. And there are also more resources available including new health care initiatives like the Utah LGBTQ Plus Affirmative Therapist Guild, the University of Utah Trans Health Program, and the state's LGBTQ Suicide Prevention Plan. But more work needs to be done. That we have to step back and not allow a lot of cultural conversations that have been going on for years. Since Stockton's death, the Doysons have devoted their lives to making things better through their nonprofit, Peculiar. And go back to the core of really what is human and what connects us, and that's love. They mourn the son who dreamed of opening a diner. He loved to bake desserts. Yeah, all of his good And I was going to be his assistant. Urging parents and the community to be there for these teens. For Healthy Mind Matters, Heather Simonson, KSL 5 News. Thanks, Heather. If you or someone you know needs some help, you can download the Save Utah app to talk or text with licensed counselors. There are many other resources available as well. We'll put those links on our website, ksltv.com.